Good evening and welcome to the March 29, 2021 Ordinance Review Committee. This meeting and all who participate in it with us on Zoom will be audio and video recorded. Okay, first up on our agenda is the roll call or could do a roll call, please. Sure. Um, Councillor Labarge. Here. Councillor Nash. Here. Councillor Thorpe. Here. Member Peck. Here. And Member Napolitano. Here. Okay. Next up is public comment. Laura, there's no one in the room rating. No. Correct? Okay, so if anyone joins us, they can make a comment later. But I want to move on next. Uh, well, we have on the list the approval of the March 15, 2021 and March 23rd, 2021 minutes, which are not up at this time. Yeah, unfortunately, so sorry about that. This is, and, and um, since this is our last meeting, we're, I'm considering or thinking about um, having just one more meeting to approve the minutes. How does that sound to everyone? I don't think we really have a choice. I think we yeah. need to do that. So and I guess the question is, Laura, how, how much time do you need to get those done? Oh, gee, uh, since I'm a week behind right now, it, it might be two weeks. Do you want three weeks to be safe? Well, that'd be great. Um, I think I could do it in two. Yeah. Randy, stop um, at the door. <laughs> Um, how does April, no, that's a holiday. April 19th is a holiday. Um, we actually trying to pick a meet, meeting date? Yes. April 12th is not good for me. Not that I... You know, I really need to be there. I, I think that you guys could probably do your minutes without me there if that we came to that. 26. Yeah, I like the idea of the 26. It gives Laura plenty of time. It's typically not a day a meeting is scheduled. And um... let me just, Laura, um, ordinance uh, legislative matters. Um, that, that's the second that Monday. No. Okay, good. That would be great. The 26th. So what time? Time's good for everyone. Five, five thirty. Either. Five, five thirty works better for me. Okay. Okay. I found a glitch. The community resources is scheduled for the twenty sixth. Are they? Well, I'm look. Am I looking in the cal right calendar here? Yeah, that's what we. That's the place marker we have for it. Oh goodness, I'm glad you realized. What time is that, Jim? I'm sorry. What, Mary? Marianne? What Counselor? time is that? That's at. Uh, that starts at five. Hmm. No problem. Um, so the twenty. Seventh, it has a committee on finance, I, which usually gets canceled, but I don't know if there's going to be some sort of budget hearing going on then. Um, oh. But I, we're not going to have a budget by then. So, right. Yeah. Uh, so the 19th. It's okay. a holiday. I believe. <laughs> holiday. Is there any scheduled? Anything scheduled for the 19th of April? Yeah, just, I think it's Patriot's Day. Patriot's Day. It is. That must be why we're meeting the 26th. Yes, that, that's why we got bumped out of there for community resources. Um, Actually, May 3rd. Was the 27th? Did somebody? May third. Was yeah. Let's do the twenty seventh. We want to do twenty seventh, Jeff. We won't be able to be there, will you? Uh, That's my only concern. So this is going to be done. This approval minute is going to be done after the presentation yes. to council. 
have to because the, the minutes aren't available tonight. Well, I don't know when we're presenting it either, so. Um, yeah, we don't know when we're presenting it, but it'd certainly right. be after filing. Um, Councillor Thorpe, aren't you anticipating we are going to present to council on the 15th? That's a possibility, but I will be in touch with Councillor C uh, Council President regarding that. The 15th of May or April? April. April. Oh. It will not be this week though, I do know that. The council rules have allowed one member to be designated to approve the minutes in the case of executive session minutes. Is that a possibility? No. Uh, These aren't executive uh, sessions. Uh, right. Okay. I mean, this is going to be a really quick meeting, right. I hope. Yes. So, um, and we just need a bare majority unless. Right. So, so I'm looking at. We're just going to be doing the minutes, Jim. The, the 20, this, we didn't discuss the 27th. I know, Jeff, would that be a problem with Jeff if it's the 27th? On April 27th? Yes. I could send them to you're, him beforehand. You're, you're muted, Jeff. Jeff. So Laura, you're if it's not going to be terribly long, I can, I can, uh, I, I'd have to go at like six, but I could otherwise oh. be there. Oh, okay. No problem. Now, I don't have her license with me, so if you need her license. So April twenty seventh. Well, before we land on that, I'm looking at the calendar, and there's nothing oh. on the sixth. There's nothing on which day, Jim? On April 6th. So next week. Hmm. Why is that possible? I'm thinking about Laura trying to get I these. Yeah, I don't know if I, I can make that. Okay. Unfortunately, yeah. I don't think I can make that. You're right. You're right. Okay. Yeah, either I have another meeting I'm going to. What's the cancellation policy? Right. <laughs> so that works for me. Yes. The 27th. Or the, is that what we're saying? 27th. Yeah. Because Laura needs two to three weeks, right? right. Laura? Yeah, more than a week, definitely. Okay. All right. 27th, good. 27th. Okay. Five, 5.30. Five. Thank you. What time? I don't know. Five or 5.30. Five five. I don't care. Okay. Jim, Megan, five o'clock work for you? Um, fine. Five works for me. Okay. Five would work for me. Yeah. Yep. Right. Five, five o'clock it is April 27th. Okay. 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 Moving on, final form of tracking spreadsheets. Okay. Look at number um, four, housekeeping changes. So I know attorney Seawald sent me revised versions. I don't know if I should be pulling those up to share. Um, are we going to- Those contain all of Megan's changes as well. Okay. Right, so you can pull that up. Okay. Um, let's see, one second. So attorney Seawald, Megan's changes were added to your changes. Mm -hmm. They're all in red. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to say that because it, you know, it comes up on different computers in different colors. Okay. So I think that Megan highlighted the latest of her changes. Okay. They came up and, in, in my draft. I don't. And so we're on A, is that what we're doing? We're on bucket number of, well. Hmm. Okay, actually that there was no, was there any changes made to that? Uh, yes, I made some changes to the exhibit A, but um, are we doing your spreadsheets now or are we doing the exhibits? I think the spreadsheets were, were there any changes to the spreadsheets? Yeah, I thought we did. Um, trying to remember. I almost have to pull it up to see. That was with the vehicles and traffic and so forth like that. 
Well, okay. Uh, do we need to look at bucket number one, housekeeping changes? The last change to that was moving Fred Zimnox to exhibit C and there's now a note to that effect. Yes. Uh, I, I, I didn't move, so, so that's gonna be exhibit B. The changes were made oh. not in your spreadsheet, but in exhibit B, which um, I sent out again earlier today, just a little okay. while ago. And um, so maybe we should just go through the exhibits and, um, and work, Okay. Work on those. Yeah. Instead of, all right. E, so here's, this is, here's exhibit B, formerly exhibit A. But, no, I'm sorry. So no. I, if, before we go any further, I changed it to exhibit B, quote unquote, housekeeping changes. I don't know whether uh, I tried to put uh, a heading on it more like the headings for A and C but it kept bleeding into the sheet and I'm not very savvy with, with spreadsheets and I didn't know how to do that. So mm -hmm. if, if, uh, if you want, and I, now I'm noticing on the second page, uh, it should be changed as well, but, um, and the third page. So I don't know whether, whether um, we, we want a more formal heading than that. Then bucket one, housekeeping changes? No, if you look at the first page, okay. um, I, I changed it to exhibit B and I didn't realize it, would, it would, wouldn't change on all the other pages. Again, demonstrating how unsavvy I am with these things. Should we add it to make it consistently exhibit B housekeeping changes on all five pages? Unless we want to put a heading like the heading that's on all of the other two, on the other two exhibits, you know, more formal heading, you I know, see. naming the committee, naming the, the final report and naming it to be exhibit B housekeeping changes. And that's what I couldn't get done because okay. it kept running into the, into the spreadsheet itself. I think I'm going to have that same problem. <laughs> okay, so maybe we can just uh, change it all to exhibit the housekeeping changes. Okay. Yeah. And then, like I said, I think the only other change was just that notation that Fred Zimnox was moved to exhibit C. Uh, the other change I made today is in the very last one, line 20. Uh, if this is the one I sent earlier today, you'll see that I also indicated that, um, that the Northampton Disability Commission has reviewed and approved these proposed amendments. I see that right there. So those are the only changes I made. Okay. And on Fred Zimnox, I, I did not remove it from here. Uh, I, uh, I, uh, let me see. It's here. on the first it's, line there, yeah, page four. On number 16. Um, and to make it cons consistent at, at 12 feet. Um, but, um, but to study it further because uh, of the, for the reasons that are on exhibit C. So I moved that to exhibit C as well. Are those changes all acceptable? Committee members, any? I see a noddings of head. Okay. Do we want to take a formal vote to adopt this as Exhibit B, subject to changing the heading on pages? Um, two through five, I think. Two through five. Councilor Nash, you're muted. Oh man, I was saying really smart stuff. I will, uh, <laughs> I will make that motion that Ellen recommended <laughs> with the heading change. I'll second that. Okay, motion been made by Councilor Nash, seconded by Councilor Labarge. Okay. Any further discussion? Laura, roll call and approval. 
Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Thorpe. Yes. Mem member Peck. Yes. And member Napolitano. Yes. Okay. okay. Moving on to the next list, ordinances reviewed for impact on marginalized communities. I believe this was already in the, one of the exhibits. Laura, can you pull that up? Yeah, that's... It's already in one of the exhibits yeah. below, but... All right, okay, I'm bringing it one second. We are on exhibit A, is that what we're doing now? Yes. Okay. There we go. So on exhibit A, um, I, I changed the heading to the report of the 2020 Special Committee for Review of Ordinances. I tr changed traditionally in the heading to historically, which I had missed. Then um, I took rental in the not recommended for adoption section. I took rental agency fees out of this Exhibit A, and I put it in Exhibit C with some additional language that we'll talk about when we get to Exhibit C. Um, I and in uh, in footnote number one on uh, what page is that on? Oh, we don't have page here numbers here. Page. Footnote number one. Megan su uh, suggested a change from Office of Planning and Sta Sustainability to Housing Partnership, and I emailed Megan earlier today. The housing partner, the reason I use Office of Planning and Sustainability is that um, I emailed with Keith Benoit a while back. Uh, the housing partnership hasn't worked on this list at all, and um, he did it himself. So when we got that updated list, uh, it was from Keith himself, and he's a member, he's a, an employee of, of OPS. He's not on the housing partnership. That's why I did it that way. So I'm proposing to move it back to Office of uh, Planning and Sustain Sustainability. Do you think it'll be easier for um, them to maintain it? The OPS? Oh yeah. I mean, they they work every day. Um, the housing partnership doesn't. You know, this is what they do. They maintain these kinds of resources. Um, okay. uh, what else is in here? Um, you know, these are a lot of these are changes that Megan had suggested last time, I believe. Um, So there, you know, there are just some, um, you know, stylistic kind of changes, moving things from place to place, which you find with me that Megan made. Uh, if there are any other comments, uh, that's the only thing I would uh, propose is to delete that, in, reject that insertion and reject that deletion. So got a question. that's what I have on exhibit A. Right. Oops, went away. Or can you pull that back up again? Yeah, it went away. I didn't do that intentionally. Let's see. Okay. Do we need a vote to accept those changes? I just want to see sure. one more thing. Can we scroll down, please? Sure. To, um, Did you want me to stop anywhere in particular? Uh, no. Just keep scrolling. So I know stop right there. Stop right. Yep. Can you go down a little bit more, please? Sure. I'm going to stop right there. Um, do we want to, on number six, 
I know we put, um, I know we've used Tay's first name and mostly all of these, there was no mention of um, just to be respectful, she and the other one, should we just put Tay cited the fact that properties remain vacant for long periods of time? Does she um, use they, them? Yeah, I don't know. So I don't, yeah, so I don't, I don't wanna. Okay, I'm fine. There's only one pronoun. Right, so I would just say Tay cited the facts that and just, okay, so we're consistent. Uh, could I? Okay. I have one quick question about all these. Uh, so between um, Member Peck and Attorney Seawald, are you in, in agreement on shifting that edit back in the footnote around uh, the housing partnership and Office of, of Planning and Sustainability? Because Alan, so Megan recommended a change, then Alan changed it. I, I'm not sure where. And yeah, I'm not in. I'm I'm not in communication with Keep Annoyed, so I don't know what he would prefer. But I know that this list and these ideas originated with the housing partnership. Okay. And but the email I received from Keith said the housing partnership has never worked on a list. They worked on the concept, but they've never worked no, on I the list. A few members did. A few members did work on it. The 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 section about the legal aid. I don't mm. think it was no one ever worked on it. I mean, it could be that it hasn't been updated since they presented it to us. But you know, I'm fine with it. I mean, crediting the. Office of Planning Sustainability as well, if we think that they'll have more accountability um, for updating it in the future, as you say. So this, let me, let me just read Keith's email. Although it was proposed that the housing partnership maintain a list, they never actively worked on it. I created my own, but I have not updated it since November 2020. I will have to review to ensure the language slash information is up to date as things like the eviction moratorium have been lifted. That's what he said to me, so. Can we and, just actually, can we include both of them then? Work that yeah. the partnership and the Office of Planning Sustainability then? I mean, is there any drawback? to crediting both of them, both entities? Well, I don't think it's crediting. What we're calling on is, is somebody to continue, you know, uh, you know, we're recognizing the work that's been done and calling on them to, uh, to main, you know, to continue working on and maintain the list. But that's fine, I'll put the housing, you know, we'll put the housing partnership and office of, okay. Yeah, I like the and solution because it was brought to our attention by members of the housing partnership, but it sounds like much of the actual work is being done by staff, but it still exists in the realm between the two, between the administration and the, and the board. So yeah, the end works. Can I ask a question real quick, Jeff? Um, is there a way to prioritize um, or to in the in the, uh, the list here to say um, that I mean, my concern uh, is about the housing stability notification ordinance and just saying because the moratorium is being lifted has been lifted and we're going to be facing a big um, uh, eviction foreclosure crisis or we, we may um, uh, is there a way to say to, to prioritize in our document in our um, in Exhibit A that we uh, I mean maybe we don't want to prioritize it but could we is anybody okay with is everybody okay with that idea or just it seems that that is the most precious pressing issue yeah I did it in chronological order that's how I organized it but who can do it any way you want to do it. Um, and by the way, the CDC extended the moratorium today. They did? 
I believe they did, yeah. Good. Members? So if we're going to prioritize by um, in, order in order of importance to us as a committee, um, should we do that also for exhibit C? We come to it. As long as somebody has time to do that between now and Wednesday, I'm not sure I have time to do a lot of reorganizing of this. So if somebody else is going to do it, that's fine. It's cutting and pasting. I understand. Tomorrow's a busy day. I mean, can we just cut? Can we just move it to number one and say because of the 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 crisis um, that we anticipate, the crisis that exists, and in in, uh, an escalation of that crisis, we urge um, this ordinance to be considered promptly. Something like that. Well, we're not, I, I think the footnote is not about the ordinance because the ordinance is going to take time to wend its way through committees. Right. Um, what we're suggesting is that this be done administratively as soon as possible, and that could be done almost immediately. Um, what do you mean by administratively? Administratively. I th done through the, uh, it will be done through the, uh, Office of Planning and Sustainability or some other agency of the city would do this, not by ordinance, but just would make these available. Um, they couldn't require, so in other words, the, the city would put out information uh, to tenants. It wouldn't be included in a notice to quit. It wouldn't be included in a mortgage foreclosure notice, but put these materials out, materials out and publicize them. Uh, while the ordinance is being uh, sent through committees. I remember a few months ago, you said that that would be not be your preference to have the city. To have it's it. not my preference. It is not. But, um, but we're not going to have an ordinance before June 30th, which is when, mm -hmm. or it's unlikely. Oh, we could, I guess, suppose we could have an ordinance by June 30th. I, sure. I'll, I'll let the counselors tell me that. Um, but, um, but June 30th is when the moratorium, uh, the, at least the eviction moratorium is gonna end now. So it's already on a page. The, the list of resources is already on a page on the city website. Mm -hmm. It's just a matter of directing people to it and having enough community education that it exists. Um, I've, I've spoken to one, a reporter at the Gazette who um, I'm forwarded to this list and she's expressed interest in writing an article about it. But um, yeah, I have, I, I don't know of any city agency that's, well, they haven't communicated with anyone else here anyway, that they would take this on administratively so, all right. Um, so if I just, why don't I just move this to the, change this section here to uh, number four to number one while we're talking and then we'll, I'll just, are you going to do it on the on the version that I sent out earlier? Because there are other changes that need to be made. Yes. Okay. Laura, could you let me into the? Oh, never mind. Sorry, I just saw you. Sorry, I just have to. Sorry, I just have to. Sorry, I just have to. In there? I have to take the oh. Laura, we're... Yeah, I'm putting it back up. Here we go. So
So I, so I think we're in agreement here on this draft. If if we move, do we need to vote on the I? Well, I guess we can. So Megan's proposing moving number four up into number one, and um, and then we had an agreement on the language in the footnote, and uh, and there was the change of. Uh, from she, she to Tay, mm -hmm. and I think those are the changes we're recommending so far. So mm -hmm. with those changes that I just outlined, I'm going to propose that we... Well, well, before you do that, before you do that, Councillor, yeah. uh, Jeff had also suggested rearranging all of them to prioritize all of them into the order yep. we want to see them dealt with. Yep. I, I mean, my, 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 I would be perfectly happy with just moving that one. I don't, I don't think we have to okay. evaluate them. Yeah. I don't know if okay. we need to prioritize the negative recommendations. It's just this and then the exhibit C, right? Okay. Okay. So, okay, so I'm making those changes in real time. And if you feel like you want the screen shared before we vote, you could do that. No, let's just. I'm I'm fine with it. I'm holding. I don't get a vote. Anticipation. <laughs> Into the numbers. Okay. So can I complete my motion? Go ahead. <laughs> All right, I complete my motion. What I said before, <laughs> with those with those three changes in place, and um. Do you want me to repeat it all? I got it. Okay. Motion made by Councilor Nass, seconded by. Second. Second by Councilor Labarge. And Megan's making those changes in real time. And I want to add one other thing for the discussion. Of exhibit A? Of, of these changes of, okay. around prioritizing. I just wanna say that when we make the presentation to council, that's our opportunity to say, by the way, you know, counselors, here's here's the number one priority we saw here. We need to act, we, mm -hmm. we recommend really acting on this particular item sooner than the rest. That's a good point, Jim, thank you. And I can tell you there's three counselors in the room thinking, all right, if that's at the top of our list, that's something we, that's something actionable right there. So, um, okay. And I just made the heading changes to Exhibit B while you guys were chatting, and I'm going to send that to uh, to Laura Thank now. You. Great. Okay. Did Megan leave? Oh, oh, she's back. She must have gotten bumped off. I just let her back in. Yeah. Oh, oh dear. Okay. So Megan's back. Okay. Any other changes, thoughts, suggestions before we vote on this? What happened to Joe? Jeff's still here. I don't see his face. Yes, sure. Yeah, I'm here. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. Approved as is. Do the changes made. Yeah, let's vote. Okay. <laughs> Laura, roll call. Okay. okay. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Thorpe. Yes. Member Peck. Yes. And Member Napolitano. Yes. Okay. Moving on now to the finalization of the final report. Ordinance Review Committee final report. Laura, can you pull that up, please? You have also Exhibit C to go over. Don't forget. Yep. That's, I'm just trying to stay in, stay in order. Okay. <laughs> oh, oh, oh dear. Um, wait a minute. Oh. Um, oh, okay. So it looks like in what you sent me was just 
the part to be added about Jackie Balance? And so otherwise, is it just as it was posted? Right, on I haven't made any changes okay. to the summary report since last meeting. The only okay. thing I have is the Jackie Balance material. The other things that we'll have to talk about are um, the, um, the half size dwellings, uh, which never got dealt with and um, and hang on, I put it in my email. I didn't make changes to the summary though. Yeah, neither did I. So the summary is the same. The only, thing we'll, 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 uh, the only thing we'll need to do is go over the Jackie balance um, and hang on for a second. Um, and then the, the, the half dwelling units and the charter review ordinance. Those are the only things that are left. Um, no, I, I think you misunderstood me. I said, I, I did make changes. Oh. oh, you did? I did make changes. I emailed Laura. She had emailed the rest of the committee. That oh, was okay. not part of your email to us today, but Laura mm -hmm. has. And I am hoping I uploaded that to the agenda then. Let me. One second. Okay, so actually, if you just emailed it to me today, I haven't uploaded anything new today. So it must just be in my email inbox. One second. Um, Megan, what time did you send it in? I sent it yesterday, Sunday night. Oh, okay. At like 10, 10 something. Right. One second. Okay, here it is. Um, Sorry, which exhibit are we on? Or in the summary. Room? Okay, got it. Okay, I think I might finally have it. Here we go. Does this look like your changes, Megan? Yes. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. I, yeah, I just got this out of the email that you sent last night, so. So the reason I highlighted those recommendations are attached as exhibit C is because there was nothing in exhibit C that referred to the committee urging the city to continue study and developing other amendments to zoning ordinances that would address barriers to fair housing. I mean, there's another way we can just raise that. So, so. I mean, number of those items in C um, do refer to zoning, possible zoning amendments, but 
I don't think there's anything, there, there is nothing that So, um, we just moved this, the recommendations are attached to exhibit C to the end of zoning. I think that would, the word zoning. Okay, so. Could you repeat that change that you want to make Is no. it to the whole highlighted sentences? Those? Because those recommendations are attached to exhibit C, um, doesn't really apply to what he said here about other ordinances that would address barriers to fair, fair housing in the city, explore ways to incentivize creation of both affordable market rate and subsidize affordable housing. We don't have anything about that actually in exhibit C. Okay. So just but I mean, most of our, what's in Exhibit C relates to zoning, um, that is true. So that's, that's all, it just, you know. Attorney Seawald, you're muted if you're talking to us. <laughs> Exhibit C doesn't really have any much in the way of zoning except for expanded notification. That's mm -hmm. really all. Um, the zoning that's in C, I think I was referring to exhibit A when I wrote that, that we have a number of proposals in A, in addition to what we've recommended in A, um, you know, finding other ways in addition to what we've recommended being to be adopted in A. That's what I think I was referring to there. Okay. But, but do you see where the confusion is when you say the recommendations are attached to Exhibit C? Yes, because I was because Exhibit C was the wrong reference. It should have been A. Because we've made a, a number of proposals to right. you know increase. You, have, um, you do refer to Exhibit A. A few sentences above that, though. Right. So, I, I think if you want to, I think it, it makes sense for you to talk about what's in exhibit C in this paragraph here. Mm -hmm. um, and we just need to kind of figure out a way to, I just, I think it just, just needs to be rewritten. That's all, but I don't, um, I'm kind of struggling with it as is right now, but we can just, we maybe, Maybe we should just come back to that. We could just go through the rest really quickly. Um, again, it's just like some are just points of clarity, but um, does anyone else have any thoughts about the other suggestions in red? Yeah, so I have a question. So this is the same as what was sent to us earlier today by attorney C. Did, he, he uh, didn't I did not, I, I didn't send this out today. But Laura did, Laura for Laura did. did. Are you looking for it, Jim? Well, yeah, I think I'm looking for it right now. Okay. It's easier for me to pull it up on my screen and look at the actual document rather than try to read it off the Zoom screen. Well, if you if you look at the very bottom, that last paragraph on the on the front, if you if I, I, I'm I think accepting the deletion of and comma therefore comma limited in it, it, its scope, but if you read it um, with that deleted, it reads by its terms limited in time its scope. So I think it just needs to be and its scope. Right.
Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think there's yeah the answers stay in there. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Okay, so and will remain. And she should not have been crossed out. Also, just one other thing that I, I don't know if it's a big deal, but um, it's sort of the continuing on in that paragraph. Um, it actually goes on to the next page. Actually, it's, it's in the middle there. It says to continue to alleviate. Uh, can we just say to alleviate as opposed to continue to alleviate? Mm -hmm. To con saying that to can you, that the city council uh, and otherwise, and to continue to alleviate the inequities that are zoned. It just mm -hmm. seems that it's a yeah, yeah, PR phrase as opposed to like stating mm -hmm. the yeah. Oh, I, I agree. Laura, do you want me to make those changes as well? If you could, that would be yeah. very helpful. <laughs> I think the one I was made that a slight note that um, the heading on these pages to make it consistent with the title would be um, report of 2020 special committee on review of ordinances or it's um, the same issue that attorney Siebold had picked up earlier that it's not the tw a 2020 report it's the 2020 right. special committee like changing that heading just to the header. Yeah, header, thank you. Um, right. And I think how you have it up here is how you like it to appear on the subsequent pages, I'm thinking. Members, any other suggestions or comments? Mm. I, I think it looks good. Otherwise, I think it looks really good. I'll second that motion. <laughs> we just need to deal with that one paragraph. Mm -hmm. All right, you want to go back to that? If you don't mind, let's go to C and and maybe you know. Let's let's look at C first, and then come back to this. I have some ideas how to fix it. Actually, Do we need a, a, a roll call? It, it sounded like a motion to, well, well I guess we can't because no. we're still, there's still another change. So were there, hmm. I keep forgetting, yeah. before we skip over, I don't like to skip over things. Do we already go over A? Because I'm going down the. Mm -hmm. Yes. Remember? We did. Change of. Just want to make sure. A, turn, yeah. B. Housekeeping. Let me just make sure because everything's just, yep. And now we're on a seat. Thank you. Exhibit C. All right. Let me get that from my inbox. One second. Oh, All right. Um, here we go. Let's, uh, bear with me. Here we go. Oh, 
where you want to scroll down. Yeah. I didn't have any suggestions or changes to this. It looked fine to me. Yeah, I'm in agreement with Jeff and I do. And, and also I'm wondering in relationship to the earlier document, um, you know, uh, the question Megan was raising, what is it we're looking for here? Wait, sorry, I missed that. I was... Yeah, so we left document or the, the report a few minutes ago mm -hmm. with the idea we're, gonna, we're looking at this here. Yeah. I, I'm by and large, I, so I'm good with this. Jeff said mm -hmm. he's good with this. Okay, um, Is the order of this, do we want to prioritize? I mean, do we want to change the order of these items here? Any of these seven? I think what Councilor Nash said earlier that we'll be addressing this before the council, we can um, at least let them know in order of priority. I think we need to address number it, seven. Because it's cut and paste, it's really easy. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm just, so if anyone has a preference too, I, I mean, it really takes no time. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just going to, I, I can do that in real time. So, it, or is it the, we don't want to, um, we don't need to think too hard about this. I mean, the, the one, if I was gonna prioritize anything, I would definitely move up the charter review bit, but. That's gonna be discussed. Yeah. We want to discuss that before I Jeff. Discuss that now. Yeah. So this was raised last meeting, and as I said in my earlier email, uh, it, it didn't occur to me to then. It didn't occur to me until late this week, uh, actually this morning when I was walking my dog, that charter review was never on an agenda, and it came up sort of out of the blue, and you know, with all of the other subjects, we put them on the agenda to discuss. No, we didn't. We didn't. What do you mean we didn't? We didn't. There was the one ordinance about the two half units that well, was not explicitly on the agenda. Well, then then, then we've, if we've never discussed it, then it shouldn't be in the report, but we- Why not? Why can't we vote on? We voted on the charter review frequency last meeting. Right. Unanimously. Because it was not on the agenda. And so that that was not, no one had noticed that we were going to discuss that. And with everything else that we've discussed, we've mm -hmm. put it on an agenda. And that's the requirement of the open meeting law. Exception to that. Can we find some exception to the open meeting law? No, I'm sure I can find some exceptions to us discussing things that were not explicitly on the agenda. I, you know. Uh, haven't we discussed things that were introduced by guests and so forth? Right, but we put we always put them on an agenda. The guests or the agenda issues no. that they bring. No, I don't think that we. And correct me if I'm wrong. And Laura, maybe you have a better memory than I do. But you know, for instance, you know, Jackie Balance was on a an agenda. I think that uh, that wasn't uh, Tay's brought up issues and then we put them on an agenda and discuss them. But can we discuss this now? But it wasn't on the agenda. But didn't we discuss, I mean, certainly we discussed what the, the content of what like Jack, maybe we didn't vote on it, but we discussed the content of what guests have come and talked about after they've, after they've come and talked about it, right? I want to, could you look up the agenda, please? Our last agenda. Sure. 
Actually, you know, Attorney Seawald, I think you raised this yourself in a meeting. Like, I can go through the minutes if it helps you. Um, that there's a possibility for us to consider changes to to the um, to the ordinance that created our ordinance review committee. Um, that's right. That's, that's how the discussion started. And right, but I didn't expect that we would, you know, and and uh, I recognize that 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 uh, that if you wanted if you wanted to be able to do something more than what's in the ordinance, that that would be something that we could discuss. But it would have to be on an agenda, and it wouldn't just be brought up, you know without giving people notice that we're going to discuss that. That's the way I think we've been doing it. The last. Laura, I think we're all set with this, okay. unless someone else needs to look at the... Okay. Well, you know, the, the I mean, if, if, we, if, we're, if we're a committee that reviews ordinances and we talk about an ordinance or, or something contained in the ordinances, um, isn't that basically, I mean, isn't that fine? No, because people have to have notice of specifically what the agenda items are. We don't just generally talk about what's in the ordinances. We bring up specific ordinances, put them on an agenda, and then we talk about them. I mean, I've brought up parts of, of the ordinance code before without it being on the agenda, and we've talked about it for sure. I mean, I guess my question is, like, how granular do you have to be? I mean, because if, let's say that we're going to talk about I don't know. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, ordinances regarding dogs or something like that, but we're not specific. We, we talk about an ordinance that when we talk about the ordinances regarding dogs, we, we, we begin to talk about ordinances involving cats. Like, is that, does that mean that we're forbidden from talking about that? I mean, not that, not that you're for, forbidden of, uh, to raise the ordinance regarding cats in relationship to the ordinance that relates to dogs so for instance we're talking about dogs and by the way this is how we handle cats and we ought to handle dogs in a similar way but there was never a uh, um, you know we we never talked about we never put on an, an agenda that we were going to talk about amending charter review ordinance I'm kind of curious that this is coming up at our last meeting. Um, and also I feel like it should be, if this is your opinion, I should really should be applied to every board and commission. And I can promise you that agendas for most of them are not nearly as detailed as ours. And yet we don't seem to have been in violation of any open meeting laws. I mean, well, so the first part of your statement may be true, but the second part may not be true. Well, that doesn't mean you weren't in violation. It's just well then, that agendas need to give notice uh, uh, to anybody who's interested this, about the subject matters that will come, that will be the topic of conversation at this meeting. You have to have agenda items. I mean, the city council doesn't just decide let's let's modify the you know charter review without ever putting the, the fact that they're going to discuss charter review on the uh, uh, on the agenda we're an advisory committee it doesn't matter every you're a governmental body every governmental body is exactly the same whether you're advisory or whether you you know make ordinances every governmental body is the same has the same requirements the same rules apply okay well, and and you know if it, room for confusion because um, we 
we completed this the discussion and vote at the last meeting without right. bringing this up. So, I, I and I acknowledge that that was my bad. Should uh, never have happened. Um, and I, you know, I would like to, I'd like to move on, but um, let's have the committee vote on this. Um, whether they want to keep this in Exhibit C or not. And of course, these are just recommendations. Um, when it goes to the council, they can decide that it's, you know, it's not something they want to. And, and you can also make this recommendation to the counselors outside of this report. Right. But, you know, and so, uh, you know, I, I don't want to like, you know, I don't want to prolong this either. But if, if it's my ruling that this is an open meeting law violation and it shouldn't be in the report, then it's an open meeting law violation and it shouldn't be in the report. Well, and that's- I will, you know what, I, I would like to, to hear from the other members and- oh, That's fine. Then let's, um, let's vote because it's currently on the, in the report, then we'd have to vote to take it out. Yeah, Council would we have to? Councilor Barge. Where, where are we taking it out, Megan? It's in Exhibit C right now, the last item. So I, my question is that, yes, it wasn't on the agenda for last time. I think we're in agreement for that. But we did mistakenly fold it into the report and the report was on the agenda for tonight. And therefore, though it was mistakenly on the agenda, it wasn't in the agenda, it is on the agenda right here. Does that, and that was posted and shared. So my question is, Attorney Seawald, is that enough for us to have a discussion about it right now? Was this was this posted, Laura? Um, the yes. Well, the documents have been, you know, added. Um, I'm I'm trying to think. I'm getting confused with the versions of the documents, but um, yeah, that an amended version may have been posted. So um, it is. It is. It is, it is yes. The um, exhibit is on the agenda, yes. It is, charter review, the recommendation, the item. In that case, I, I will I will relent and go, go forward, it's fine. Mm -hmm. If it was posted and notice was given that this was going to be discussed in the final report, it shouldn't have been discussed last week, but I will relent in that case. Thank you, Councillor Nash. Councillor Nash. Thank you, Councillor Nash. It's my great legal mind. <laughs> <laughs> Sorts of minds. <laughs> that alleviates that. So it, it reflects all the other times I've been trying to get around this. <laughs> Full time <laughs> job, Jim. <laughs> uh, but I yeah. will not relent that it should have been on the agenda before we dealt with it last time. That I agree with. So do we need to correct something for the record before we discuss it or can we just discuss it? Fine. Okay. Fine. All right. There's no there's no date in here so it's fine. Okay. But we do need to revote putting it in here, right? Because it is in the report and so what we need to, I guess what we need to vote on is- um, Exhibit C. Exhibit C. As amended. Right. Remember the Palatano also- And put it into C. Good morning. Jeff? No, I'm okay. Uh -huh. I mean, I, I was gonna say, I, I was I was in favor of um, uh, if we were going to prioritize it to to move it if we were going to prioritize anything I, that would be the one thing that I would move up. That's all. So. And so I would propose moving it up to maybe number one. Yeah. And if that needs to be a motion, I'm happy to make it. 
I think we can. Which one are we moving up to number one? Uh, the chat charter review um, okay. segment, which I believe is number seven um, number right seven. now, just moving it to number one. Making that change right now. Is there anything else? Um, can I? Can I propose moving the rental agency fees item up as well? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. Anyone has problems with it being number two? Okay, so now we have charter review, number one. Number two, rental agency fees. Three, general sign regulations. Four, proposal to expand notification. Uh, five, towing of vehicles. Six, four, buffer zone. Four, the notification, rental notification. That should be above, the sign should be probably below that. I think that's pretty okay. important. Okay. Very. Right. Uh oh. You guys are going to bump mine to the bottom. <laughs> Sorry, Jim. Because <laughs> it's zoning, you know. Go ahead. Actually, the sign it can be last. <laughs> Jim, just back some reason. You know, in, in, in the real world, the signage is very important because yeah. right now we're in complete violation of Supreme Court constitutional precedent. And, uh, Oh boy. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. Yes. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, I'm getting confused because the document I'm list, looking at, Exhibit C, has seven items and housing stability notification is not on it. Right. So, right. Am, oh, didn't no, someone uh, propose moving housing stability notification? No, it's, it, that was notification of zoning. Oh, thank goodness. Okay. Yeah. Right. All right. So we're all looking at the Council and Ash's brilliant idea. Yes. Or maybe I'm just. Like, it, Jim. Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> so, Laura, are you making the changes or just I am? Um, I haven't been making them as okay. we've been going along. So, <laughs> then I'll I'm trying to make sure I understood them. <laughs> okay. So, I'll continue to do this and I will. Um, I'll email them to you after the meeting. Thank you. Right with the changes. And and, and uh, Megan, are you also accepting all of the track changes? Yes, okay, great, know. great, thanks. We're all very trusting. <sighs> still, it still has to be sent back to us, so. <laughs> Well, we're not going to have another meeting to make further changes, so we are being very trusting. Unless it's all sent back tonight. Okay, did we want to move up the general sign regulations or not? Sure. Yep. Okay, so that is now number four. Hmm. Fred Zimnock's not going to be happy. Yeah, that one's last. <laughs> I'm looking out my window and saying, oh, we're in violation right here on my street. Uh -oh. I don't think we got 12 feet of unobstructed lane with cars parked. There's probably quite a bit of them that way. Yes. All right. Well, that doesn't have to be the very last one then. Changes have been made. Okay. So Megan, can you read through and give us the order? One, charter review. Two, rental agency fees. Three, towing of vehicles. Four, general sign regulations. Five, proposal to expand notification. 
six commercial buffer zone, seven unobstructed lane of travel. Okay. Does that sound? That sounds right to me. Very good, Megan. Okay. Okay. So. Are we going to have a vote on that? A vote. I'd like to make a motion that we uh, accept Exhibit C with the track changes that were presented to us, along with the change in order that Megan just reviewed. Motion made by Councilor Ness, seconded by Second. Second. Councilor Bard. Discussion? Laura, roll call, please. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Thorpe. Yes. Member Peck. Yes. And Member Napolitano. Yes. Okay. I think we need to go back now to, I think I lost track here. Huh. Yeah. So well, we have J Jackie Balance. We don't want to forget Jackie Balance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see. Let me pull that up one second. And we still have a exhibit exhibit A to um okay. Oh right. We we have to you know the summary, we have to fix that paragraph in the summary. Right. Right. So here's the balance paragraph. Well, to get this on the floor, I'd like to make a motion to approve this paragraph. And to add it to the not recommended section of exhibit A. Sounds good. I'll second yeah. that. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a typo. That you instead of she? Yes. Okay. What is Is there anything else? I'm just. There's any comments, suggestions? Okay. Ella, let's feed the dogs. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. Which, which so. day was, okay, so today, March the 29th? Or have we not voted yet? We haven't voted yet then. Um, no, actually, we did vote not to recommend. I'm just trying to, I'm just filling the date. Oh. On this paragraph. Yeah. So, which day did we? Oh, I see. March um, 23rd? Uh, okay. That's when it was on the agenda. So, I, I let's see. <laughs> um, I'm assuming so. I almost have to look at my notes, um, but I know they were on the her, her proposals were on the agenda on that meeting, so I assume so. Uh, Or you said March 23rd? Yeah, I'm, I guess I'm double checking. Let's see. Um, mm -hmm. 
Um, actually, in the first sentence after the her name, Jackie Balance, the word proposed should be deleted. And, and Jackie Balance attached a document entitled Equity and Housing in which she urged the committee. Sorry, I had an audio issue. Could you repeat that? The After the name Jackie Balance in the first line, the word proposed should be deleted. Yes. OK. Um, I'm going to take the comma out. After February 7, 2021. Yeah, it was. I've always <laughs> learned. I've always learned that after a date, you put it in a comma, but it's, I, I'm not sure whether this is just old school or. Um, well, you can take it out, that's fine. I have no uh, pride of I do teach primer. Martin, so I feel like. Please. Also just to be consistent with the rest of our report. And it was on the 23rd that you guys voted. You didn't exactly vote not to recommend her proposals. You voted to put a note that um, she herself had withdrawn the first proposal, the FIT test, and that um, Attorney Seawald had advised you guys that it wasn't permissible to. Um, Put a cap on single family houses the second so yeah you did vote yeah it wasn't exactly a vote not to recommend but perhaps that was implied mm -hmm. i guess yeah i mean you wanted to put it on the list i guess if not recommended so mm -hmm. well the adjustment's been made here twice yes mm -hmm. Okay. Beth is showing up twice here. I think we have to. Was there, I think we have to vote on this. Correct. Yes. Yeah, so for an agreement on the, if somebody could, it, Megan, if you could read off the changes for us to review. Before, sure. Do you want? It's very similar to what you're seeing here. Um, we deleted a word, proposed before attached on the first line. And then um, the second line changed the you to she. And is there anything else? There. And they added the 23rd. Third. Last. In the very last sentence. Could you read that over, Megan? Okay, I'll just tell you what their changes are. That's fine. Okay, so. The first, the first sentence, Jackie Balance, we took out the word proposed. Would you replace it with, or is it? No. Nope. It, it was a stray word. word. Okay. And then the second line, instead of you, change it to she, in which she urged, not you urged. Um, and on the very last sentence, for that reason, on March 23rd, 2021, the committee voted not to recommend proposals. Thank you. And is that is that accurate as written? Yes. That's fine. Voted kind of. Okay. okay. All right then. And where in the in exhibit A is that going to be the last one in in, in not recommended? Is there does anybody, does the committee have a preference? I, I do not have a preference. I don't have a preference either. Should we just vote on this and then talk about that? Let's vote. <laughs> Why don't we vote? Taking the vote on the motion to approve the balanced paragraph and add it to the not recommended section of exhibit A. 
Yes. The motion on the floor. Okay, yes. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Thorpe. Yes. Member Peck. Yes. And Member Napolitano. Yes. Okay. Jim, you weren't looking for discussion really, were you? No, okay. no. All right, we need to go back to exhibit A. Okay. I think it's the summary we need to go back to, isn't it? That's true. Summary, um, and how, do we have a better idea of how to amend that Is it now that we've looked at what's in exhibit C? Okay, here we go. So um, I'm going to pull it up. Perhaps um, after footnote one, and it says in the city, and then the word and, maybe that phrase needs to be changed to something other than speaking about housing mm -hmm. and be more general about alleviating the uh, uh, historical um, disadvantage, you know, disadvantages to certain communities. We're looking at the footnote? No, I'm talking about in that sentence where the footnote, where you can find the footnote. Oh, okay. And, and it goes, the footnote in the city and, and then the next phrase, and what? And to, and we were talking about incentivize creation of affordable market rate and subsidize affordable housing, but it's more than that. We're, we're trying to alleviate historical uh, marginalization of certain communities, not just in housing, but in other ways. And that's, you know, Exhibit C is not really um, generally about housing. Mm -hmm. It's about a, just a panoply of different things. I, I don't know. I, I would like to keep this sort of explore ways to incentivize creation of both affordable market rate and subsidized affordable housing somewhere, though. Um, perhaps it could be a separate sentence. Um, well, or we could have three clauses. Mm -hmm. Instead of and to explore, comma to explore ways and leave that comma and to find other ways to alleviate tradition, you know, uh, something more general to signal that Exhibit C has those things mm -hmm. and more generally things that impact historically marginalized communities. Okay. All right. Do you want to try reading something for me to? My only concern is that's going to be a really, really long sentence. Mm -hmm. No, it should be several sentences, I think. Yeah. Um, So we could put a period, just put another sentence in there. Mm -hmm. um, this is some, um, right. So exhibit C is, is fairly you know, disparate um, topics. We have charter review, rental agency fees, towing of vehicles, general sign regulations, proposal to expand notifications, commercial buffer zone, an obstructed lane of travel. Um, so I think it's actually, um, continuing to study. I can see how, a number of them are directly related to 
you know, the, anything re regarding parking um, is directly, you know, affects um, renters. Um, also the rental agency fees, obviously, but um, the general sign regulations and proposal to expand notification, perhaps those have more to do with um, just informing people um, or just, I, I don't know, um, um, but I'm trying to think of some sort of superordinate category those would fall into. Is it, um, um, is it just like information? Is it just resident information? <laughs> Timely resident information is it? Um, I don't really. What if, what if we and um, what if we left it the way it is, and instead of those recommendations, those and other recommendations are attached as Exhibit C. Yeah, that was my original thought too, just to leave. Yeah. Just to leave it kind of vague. Yeah. So <clears throat> the committee voted to urge the city to continue to study and develop other amendments to zoning and other ordinances. Those recommendations are attached, attached as a bit C. Um, and then we also urge the council, the city to explore ordinances that would address barriers to fair housing and ways to incentivize the creation of both affordable market rate and subsidized affordable housing. Can you, can you say that one more time? Okay. I just moved, okay, so in addition to the proposed ordinance revisions and additions submitted to, with this report, the committee voted to urge the city to continue to study and develop other amendments to zoning and other ordinances. Those recommendations are attached as Exhibit C. Additionally, or moreover, the um, committee urges the city to study um, to explore ordinances that would address barriers to fair housing in the city and incentivize the creation of both affordable market rate and subsidized affordable housing. And that's just shifting the highlighted section here to after other ordinances and adding a segue. Does that make sense? Works for me. Works for me. Okay. I think it, in the first sentence that you were reading there, Megan, mm -hmm. you used addition and additionally in the same sentence. Yeah. I will, I will, um, I will not be redundant when I make this change. Do you want me to come up with something now? <laughs> well, I think, and then we can vote on it. Okay, hold on. Because I, I think we need to vote on the exact language. Mm. Okay. I know, you, I it, will. we have to write in real time and edit in real time. This is, it's so much easier when it's just two people writing on the Google Doc. <laughs> But this is open meeting law, so. So while Megan's writing, I have this sense we're coming out of the last turn and into <laughs> the straightaway. We're getting there. Ordinance review is out in front. <laughs> So 
Okay, I'm ready. In addition to the proposed ordinance revisions and additions submitted with this report, the committee voted to urge the city to continue to study and, you know what? I don't like that. It's funny and then- You still have additions twice. I, I don't like this. <laughs> uh, moreover is good. Um, urge the city to continue to study and develop. Okay. I can't, I can't hear you, um, Councilor Labarge. What did you say? Okay. To urge the city, the same thing, to continue to study and develop other amendments to zoning and other ordinance that would address barriers to fair housing and to explore ways to incentivize the creation of both affordable market right and subsidized affordable housing. Whatever. What if it, the, may I make a suggestion? Right, how you, ha, you had the two sentences separated, but what about at the end of the first sentence where you're urging the city to continue to study and develop other amendments to zoning and other ordinances that would generally mitigate disproportionate impacts to marginalized, marginalized communities. And then you would have those recommendations are attached yeah. as exhibit C. Yeah, we a more general. Right. And then you could continue. Actually, no. Oh, Laura, I'm sorry. I, I think we don't actually need that part about marginalized um, communities because yeah. I, I thought that there were a couple in exhibit C that really don't necessarily apply to. Okay, never mind. <laughs> That's why I like the affordable market rate and subsidized affordable housing. Yeah, it's the sign regulation. I was trying to get a more general uh, category that would include <laughs> a broader. That's what a, that was my initial plan as well, but it's harder than it appears. Right. <laughs> hmm. I'm going to take out the to continue to study and just urge the city to study and develop. Yeah. That's fine. And in another, the other again. So, how about amendments to zoning and ordinances? Why other? Just say and ordinance that would address barriers to fair housing. And because zoning is a type of ordinance. And the other ordinances. Right. How, these are just ord I mean, these are just ordinances that that were um, proposed to us. Not, not necessarily in service of marginalized communities. Um, Correct. So. So that's why I like when you just said in, um, in addition to the proposed ordinance revisions and additions submitted with this report, the committee voted to urge the city to, to study. study and develop other amendments uh, to ordinances as set forth in exhibit C, period. Yep. That's and, and if you want to add, you know, you know something like specifically the committee urged the city to study and develop amendments to zoning and other ordinances that would address barriers and keep that line the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's what I have right now. Yeah. Okay. In addition to the proposed ordinance revisions and additions submitted with this report, the committee voted to urge the city to study and develop amendments to zoning and other ordinances as set forth in exhibit C. The committee also urges the city, I would like to change the, the verb urges again, to address barriers to fair housing in the city and to explore ways to incentivize the creation of both affordable market rate and subsidized affordable housing. Getting closer. I think that's good. Could they encourage instead of urge. Yeah. Thank you. I like that too, Laura. <laughs> Encourage. <laughs> so, do I need to read this again, or are we ready to? 
vote on this? Give me one more shot, Megan. It would so we can all really sleep well tonight. In addition to the proposed ordinance revisions and additions submitted with this report, the committee voted to urge the city to study and develop amendments to zoning and other ordinances as set forth in Exhibit C. The committee also encourages the city to address barriers to fair housing in the city and to explore ways to incentivize the creation of both affordable market rate and subsidized affordable housing. Makes sense? Makes sense to me. Okay. Right, we just reversed it around, it's fine. Okay. <laughs> okay. Did, so my question is, did we vote on that? Not on, no, we haven't yet. Voted on it. Not on summary yet. So we're voting, so we will be voting on this statement. Okay, yeah. got it. On the entire document, including yeah. that statement. Got it, okay. Right. Okay. Now I get it. Okay. <laughs> Jim. <laughs> Okay, so any other notes or further discussion? Summary? We have a motion on the floor. I don't Can know. I make a motion to accept this uh, with the, uh, accept this document with the uh, uh, changes that Megan just uh, read to us? Motion made by Councilor Nash, seconded by, seconded by Councilor Barge. Discussion. Seeing none. Laura. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Thorpe. Yes. Member Peck. Yes. And Member Napolitano. Yes. Okay. I think. Is that it? <laughs> Turn to see, well, do we stop to address the, the um, I thought there was one other matter. Well, there was the issue of the, uh, whether the, um, the half size houses ever became before us. Did that come before us? And do we want to make a recommendation on that? It was not presented to us right. by Wayne Fyden. It was not. And Megan? It wasn't pre what? presented to us by Wayne Fyden. I don't, did Councillor Nash, did you bring it up at some point? Yeah, I didn't bring it up for a vote. I do know that. Mm -hmm. And, um, I might have mentioned it while discussing the overall zoning packages before council. Um, yes, you I, did. You mentioned, Councillor Nash, that it was coming forth to city council. Right. Mm -hmm. I know I added it to the spreadsheet of ordinances reviewed at one point. And I think it was, I thought it was because um, Member Peck had thought, seen that it was omitted. So, um, it's definitely. Only question is. Do we, do, no we wanna, do we want to? Does the committee want to deal with that, or does the committee want to pass on that? Well, if we want to deal with it, we would have to vote on it now. And we'd ha and, and we'd have to draft a uh, draft uh, a narrative. Right. And where is councilors? Where is that proposal in the pipeline at the council? It was. Uh, it was on the last agenda and it was tabled until this meeting right. Thursday. Thankfully it was tabled because otherwise sometime, we in the yeah, sometime around 1.30 I think yes. it was tabled. <laughs> and I and I could tell you it, it's it's gotten um, it's received a proper hearing. It's been at community resources. It's been at legislative matters. Um, it's had you know it had a public hearing with legislative matters in the planning board um, that um, I don't I we we could I I think it's it's I think it's fine as it is mm -hmm. okay 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 
So I believe that was the last item. So just to be clear, uh, Megan, have, have all the changes been made? Jackie Balance moved over all the, and I just want to make sure that somebody is in charge of getting this in final form. Mm -hmm. And one last question, do we want the summary itself to be on some form of letterhead or just submit it as it is? Let's put it on letterhead. A letterhead, yeah. yeah whose who's letterhead can we use? I could create one for this committee. Right. Yeah, like the, the one similar to what's on the agendas. Yeah, just you know, move move that onto an agenda. Laura, can you do that before yes, Wednesday? Yes, I can. Yes. Great. So, mm -hmm. Megan, if you get all the final documents for Laura, she'll put it on letterhead and file it. Mm -hmm. I think council. Council. doesn't um, attorney you, you need... doesn't it go to you as well before it gets filed. Mm -hmm. No. No, nope, it gets filed with the city council. I mean, the city clerk. Okay. City council, and and I believe, if I remember the orders correctly, the city clerk then transmits it to the mayor and the council. Is that right? We well, Laura, we can figure out exactly right. how it gets filed, but but Councilor Thorpe, I think you're going to need to sign it. Correct. Yeah. And I would also ask that once um, Laura gets it as well, that we I'll have to sign it, but I also want to make sure. Um, Attorney Seawalt, since we are, um, this committee meets under your supervision that you at least know as well what's going on before we submit it to the clerk's office. That's all. Okay. I didn't make sure. I'm very happy to take one more run through it. Uh, That's all. Thing not that I'm going to make any changes. Yeah. So, um, so great. I have one quick yeah. question. So that item that we were just talking about related to uh, the smaller houses, it's in, it's in the document right now. Do we need to vote to take it out? No, I don't think so. I think that, you know, the, the question is whether you're going to put it in your final report. All right. Okay. All right. And I think what we do next is once I have a uh, discussion with the city council president as to when we have this heard, it'll be during a city council meeting. I'm hoping in the 15th of this month. I do know that I just want to make sure as well that all the members, I know Megan will plan on being present. Um, Jeff, would you be able to make a city council meeting at seven-ish? Um, yeah, it's on a Wednesday, Wednesdays, right? Thursday. Thursday. Oh, Thursday. Uh, probably, almost certainly, yes. Okay, just want to make sure you know because when when we get the data, we'll let all the members know to be present, and then um, okay, um, I can almost and, yeah. I, and, with some planning, so, I can I can be there for a bit. Yeah, turn to see well. So, so Laura, I just looked at the ordinance, and it gets filed by this committee with the city clerk. Okay. So, so maybe I'll send it out for one last pass when it's complete before I file to chair and vice chair sure. and you. Okay. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we Laura to look over this one more time. Make yeah. sure the formatting and everything is. <laughs> so we're going to get together one more time to approve some minutes. So I'll, we can save all our thank yous and all of that for then, right? It's April twenty seventh. We're doing that. Yep. Okay. Is the is the council meeting on the fifteenth the last one for this month? Yeah, we can't. Yes. Get, okay, so. Because if we don't do it on the 15th, I would move it to May. Right. Um, but I'm going to talk to the city council president this week. So, When does it come in a city council? I, we're going to, I'm going to talk to the city council president soon, like tomorrow. And What were you just mentioning? Before? The 15th. The 15th. The okay. possibility of the 15th. And if not, it would be the next city council meeting. But I'm... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm losing, I'm losing light here. <laughs> No. <laughs> I barely see myself on the screen. So, okay. It, we... <laughs> a motion to adjourn, I think, would be in order, I guess. Yes. Motion to adjourn. All my dogs concur. <laughs> motion made by Jeff Napolitano, seconded by. Come on, Megan, go for it. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> seconded by Megan. Laura, roll call, please. Councillor Labarge. Yes. Councillor Nash. Yes. Councillor Thorpe. Yes. Member Peck. Yes. 
and member Napolitano. Yes.